but I wanted to talk about two other words that allows us to emphasize some of the automations uh, strength that we have in the platform, and you can add them to any of your words um, in any type of workflow. This would be just examples that we highlight here on the Monday dev site, but it can be done in any type of workflow. So bug skew is another word that we're managing to keep track of our bugs. We can create bugs using a form. So this can be sent to external customers or internally in the, in the uh, team members to open and create bugs that will create items directly in our main table. Uh, they can be standardizing the way that we intake information regarding each specific bug. So any files that we want people to attach, how much time that takes to resolve a task can be captured over here. Who's the reporter so that we can then communicate with them back once this is done, the description, the source this is coming from, what domain this is relevant for, and so on and so forth. An example automation that we've added is whenever a status is changed to be, for example, manage in sprints or move to sprints, what we're going to be seeing is this um, automations are first of all going to be moving this item from this group over here to the managed in sprints group. This is obviously just an example. But on top of that, what we're going to be seeing is these automations are creating tasks directly inside of the sprint management board. So without having to do double work or duplicating tasks and information for each specific team, when a bug is managed in sprints, and this can be decided by the team lead or the product manager, whatever that may be, this is going to be creating a new tasks in the backlog over here. This is going to mark it as a bug and automatically connect it to the uh, bugs queue board. So that means if I'm going to go quickly, if I'm going to show this, this is a hidden column that I've hidden. I want to show it really quick. So the connection is done automatically. So what happens is now we can decide that this is going to be managed in our current sprint. Whenever this is going to be done, for example, if I go back to the bugs queue board, we'll see that we're pulling information from the sprint management board into the bugs queue board. So the reported might be notified automatically when the task status is changed to be done. So this is very, very interesting and very useful to add as an automation to any board. This is one example of an automation we can create on a board just to um, tease your mind a little bit and give you uh, ideas on how to optimize and enhance your workflows. Again, this is something that together with an implementation consultant and together with the support of the Monday team, you're able to do together, move forward and create as optimized and as tailored made uh, flows that really, really uh, work well with the way that your team prefers to work. The last thing I want to talk about is retrospectives. This is a really cool small board. So again, every sprint that we might have, we might want to create a dedicated group for it, have each and everyone in the team add ideas for things that we might want to keep, improve, or, 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 uh, or uh, change. Uh, we can vote on it, so we can decide which ones we want to take on first. Um, and then we can keep that for the uh, future to see if we have improved or not. Um, this is, again, something that you get together with the uh, structure of this layout. You can obviously change them, add columns to them, and so on and so forth. Um, I hope this makes sense. I know this is kind of a lot. Uh, the last thing I want to cover is templates. So we touched on it inside of the product uh, flow in the roadmap that we can attach PRDs and we can attach release note to the feature releases. These, this is where they're going to live. So we're going to create a dedicated Monday work doc, save them as a template, and then be able to add them to any of those items that you're directly. Um, please let us know if you have any further questions related to anything that you've seen in this workflow and this walkthrough. Um, keep in mind that we can change, tweak, and optimize any flow um, that gonna, that's going to be tailored to the way that you guys prefer to work. So don't hesitate to contact us with questions, limitations, feedback. We'll be happy to help. Thank you.